from those Star Wars fans. So the first frame of each shot is usually uh, a little off. It's a little distorted, a little warped, uh, a little misaligned. So I'm going to show you uh, one of the ways in which this can be fixed. So uh, bring them into Photoshop. Here we have frame zero and frame one. And if we let's revert this for a second. So this is frame zero. Now if we copy this and we paste it on top frame one you can see the whole frame moves not just the Jawa obviously it's only the Jawa that needs to move so one of the ways we can fix this is to use one of my favorite blend modes which is difference it's fantastic for registering images so we switch that on Make sure our move tool is selected, click on the image. Now you'll notice just moving it is not enough to make it all turn black because it's a bit warped. So we need to do a control T and then we can grab these handles. Now if you hold down the control key while you move them, you should be able to and warp the image. The goal here is to make everything except the Jawa turn black, at least as far as this machine goes. We'll try going up and down, left and right. Be a little patient and a little delicate. Again, left and right, I think that's good at that, just the top ones change a little bit. We go up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, right a bit. That's pretty good. Let's test it out. We'll hit enter to save that. Up and down a little bit. Back to normal. Much better than it was. Looks like it's still rotating just slightly. Rotate it clockwise just very a little bit. Let's see. Image, image rotation, arbitrary, clockwise, zero point zero five. Quite enough, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Hmm. What's the difference? It seems to be getting closer to anything. Maybe we can do it using the rotate data. That's pretty good. See, it takes a bit of patience here, a little time, a little effort, but it can be done. Boom. Like that. That's how you do it. Now you'll notice that because it was a little bit rotated and off center there before. When the the dust bus tool came through, it saw these 
the marks on the machine were not on the first frame, but they were on the second, and it thought that they must be dust, so it removed them. So we can put those back in. And we can do that with a simple use of the eraser tool. We just figure out where they are. There's one right there. There's one back there. One there as well. And one there. And there. Oops. And we may as well take care of this bit at the top. The glue mark. That can go as well. And then there's this line going down the edge here. Uh, we could use the eraser tool on that too. But let's try something a little different just for fun. We will add a layer mask. We will use the paint bucket on gradient. And let's go to the edge here and a line like that and it's gone and there frame one frame two frame one frame two brilliant and that's how you fix it um, all I have to do at this point is save this frame as fixed I'll save it as my fixed frame without the layers, save, it's done. So that took approximately 8 minutes. Uh, I think there are 320 or so shots in the first reel, almost at least half of them I'd say would need this treatment. So that's a fair amount of time and, and energy spent doing this, but I imagine that uh, the more you do, the faster you'll get. Um, and, uh, well, that's about it, really. Have fun. <laughs>